Morning, everybody. Johnny Wilson here, Nottingham Physio. Looking forward to another 30 minutes, fun-filled, action-packed, uh, total body conditioning class based on the science of health and longevity. Um, and it's especially good for those who are over the age of 40 years of age and who want to improve their strength, who want to improve their mobility, who want to improve their stability, and want to improve their cardiovascular fitness. And, they, you know, eff eff effectively going to help you with your health span and your lifespan. So, without any further delay, we are going to start off today. A little bit of a different start today, okay? So, feet are going to go wide apart like this, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do some rotations around here. Nice step, bit of a start this morning. So, we normally start with a march, but today we're starting with a bit of mobility work here. So, again, the whole idea is there should be no pain in any of these exercises. And... Um, some of the exercises you will have to modify, and sometimes some of the exercises you won't be able to do, so you may have to pick another exercise. And that's fine as well. What we want to do is to be hitting that 30 minutes, okay? Right, good. Keep that going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, good. Feet back up again, okay? And to, to get her. And then hands in the air, hands down like that. And we're doing 10 of these. Good. Big stretch into the air. And then back down. Hold for three, two, one. Two done. Up in the air. Back down. Hold for three, two, one. Three done. Up in the air. Back down. Hold for three, two, one. Four done. Up in the air. Back down. Three, two, one. Five done. Up in the air, back we go, three, two, one, six done, four to do, big stretch up, down we go, three, two, one, seven done, back up in the air, down we go, three, two, one, eight done, two to do, up we go, and down, three, two, one, nine done, big stretch, and down we go, three, two, one, ten done. Okay, so nice and easy, we're just going to kick out those hamstrings, so it's just a little kick, just like that, moving back into that position, I'm going to make sure I'm back far enough from the camera to make sure that we're in full view. So all I'm doing here is just warming up those muscles, just nice and easy. Good, little kick, opposite hand to opposite leg, getting ready. Bit of a different start today. Good. Just kick to where you can kick, okay? Today we're going to have some small dumbbells, a step if you've got one, use a book if you don't, chair if you've got one, improvise if you have to, and a resistance band. And again, don't worry if you haven't got any of these. Make it up. Okay, three, two, and one. So we're going to open out those hips again. So knee bent and then just bring it across and two steps. Knee bent and two steps across. Knee bent, two steps, just like that. So when I'm going, bringing my left leg across, I'm going to the left. When I'm bringing my right leg across, I'm going to the right. Left, I'm going to the left. Right, I'm going to the right. Good. Excellent. Four more of these. Good. Two more. And last one. Okay, good. On the spot. Knees up, nice and high. Believe it or not, four minutes gone already. Getting those knees wrapped. These are great exercise here for the lower abs. Okay? Great exercise for improving your balance as well because you're now on one leg as you just bring the other one up. And also, as we get older, our hip flexors, they get tight and they get weak. You know, normally muscles get weak and they kind of, they, don't, they get long. But with the hip flexors, they get tight and they get weak. And that doesn't bode well in terms of pain and mobility. Okay, guys, good. Keep pushing them up. Excellent. Five, four, three, two. One, and then you're going to do 
a little jog forward, a little jog back. I gotta be careful today. I pulled my calf on um, Sunday, so I'm being just very careful. So if I don't look like I'm running, it's because I'm having to modify this. So you may have to modify as well. So what we're doing is just forwards, backwards. Good. Just forwards, backwards. Again, I know I don't look like I'm running or like I'm jogging, but it's outside my scope today to be able to jog. And it might be outside your scope as well. But what I'm doing is I'm paving a pathway to get back into that jogging. Okay, 20 seconds. Keep it going. After this, we're going to need our step, okay? Excellent. Forwards, backwards. Just getting those calories, burning those calories, getting stronger, getting fitter. Five, four, three, two, and one. I know that looked terrible, but, you know, sometimes it is the way it is. It is what it is. Okay. Ready. So, got your little step. Use a book if you need a book, whatever you, whatever you need to do. Okay. And we're just going to step up and manage the balance. Good. Up and down. Little pause at the top and then down. Good. When you get up there, see, can you tighten the glutes on the leg that you're balancing on? and then tighten the quad muscles as well, your thigh muscles. Can you tighten everything when you get up to the top? So you're trying to really squeeze your glute muscles, your bum muscles, squeeze your quad muscles, and you're trying to get that good stability going on through there, okay? So you wanna be as strong as you possibly can at the top of this. Again, if you've got any knee pain on the way up, maybe have a smaller box, okay? Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, change sides. Good. Up we go. Squeezing everything. Pushing down onto the step and squeeze. Good. Doing excellent. Managing that balance, really important. As we get older, our balance goes normally because we lose fast twitch muscle fibers and therefore we're not able to correct ourselves. So what we're trying to do is to retrain them to make sure that we're all the time working on our balance. If you don't use it, you lose it. Everything that's, the contents of this, ex of this program are very important to me in terms of my quality of life, my independence, my health span, my lifespan. Three, two, one, okay? So we're gonna put that just to one side for the moment. Standing on one leg, hands above the head, and then we're gonna drive that knee up into the hands there, okay? You'll find the leg that you're balancing on will start to ache a little bit, because it's gonna be working hard. Good. Up and down. So a really tough exercise on that standing leg. You're putting the leg that's coming up and down behind you, and then it comes up and it meets your hands as they are going on the way down. 10 seconds to go, stay with it. Manage the balance. If you need a little bit of assistance, use some assistance. Five, four, three, two, and one. Changing sides, okay. Ready, and let's go. Good, keep managing it. Work on the stability, working on the strength, working on endurance. Really important exercise, especially for ascending stairs, descending stairs. If you're going on long walks with your friends or with your dog, whatever it might be. And you'll start to feel a burn in that particular place. It just It's different for everybody. For me on my left leg, it's my lower calf muscles because I need to build them up. Not so much on my right leg. 10 seconds. Good, stay with it. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Okay, so we're going to do windmills, right? But we're not going to do the holes today. We're going to do six windmills up and down on each side, okay? Opposite hand, the opposite leg. You hold on to something if you need it, all right? Ten minutes gone already. Opposite hand, the opposite leg. Down. One. Good. Where we go again. Try and manage that balance. Two. Four to do. Three. Three to do. Four. Two to do. Doing excellently, guys. Five. One more. And six. Outstanding. Opposite leg. Right. Are we ready? So I'm doing my left, my right hand to my left leg. Down we go. Touch if you can. One. Two. Three. Three to do. Four. Two to do. Five. One more. And six. Outstanding. Okay. So you're going to grab some small weights. And we're going to start off with our punches. Okay. Getting ready to go. Let's go. One minute of punches. Good. Really good exercise. Now, if you haven't got any weights or you feel like the weights are too um, heavy, then do this without any weights, okay? Or if you do the first 20 seconds with weights and then you got to drop them and then just do it body weight, so without any weights, then do that. Excellent exercise for the upper body. Good. Keep working it. 30 seconds gone, 30 seconds to go. Doing superb, guys. Keep working, keep pushing. Keep driving through that. Last 20 seconds. You can do it. I know you can do it. Good. Keep pushing at it. We got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Step backs. Right. So, feet together. One leg goes back and hands over the head like that. Okay. One minute it is. Just a little step back, it's like a mini squat and hands above the head, right? You're doing really well, stay with it. You might be a few reps behind me because I know what I'm doing next and you're having to catch that up and that's fine, okay? Especially if you're on the class live with me here today. Phenomenal group here, the most we've ever had online as well today. So thank you so much for that guys. Brilliant to see you all here today. Good, feet together and then one leg back. Uh, great to welcome a new member hopefully on, on board as well so welcome to Leslie hope you're enjoying it <laughs> bit of a chaotic start this morning good last 10 seconds 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 ok grab those weights again and we're going to do ladder raises for a minute. So just up out to the side. How far you bring them up will be dependent upon your pain-free range. So if it's painful at a particular degree of ladder flexion of the shoulder, don't bring it up that high. These should be done pain-free, okay? Shoulder blades, your scapula, should be squeezed back together. And then palms should be facing me, okay? Good. That puts you in the anatomical position. Try not to move the head. I've got a bad habit of bringing my head forwards when I do this. So try to isolate it to the shoulders only. I've got a bad habit as well because I'm trying to look down at the phone or the, the watch the time, I should say, as well to make sure that we're not um, going over or under time. Good. Keep pushing it. Last 10 seconds. This is easier than I thought for this one. Excellent. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, well done. So we're going to do sit to stand. So if you've got a chair, 
then grab a chair. And if you've got some weights, then that's brilliant, okay? So whatever weight you want to choose, I'm going to choose a little bit of a heavier ones today for this. Um, I think I did this last time and I made a mistake. Okay, one minute of this. So up we go and then just sit to stand, okay? Good. I rest them on my quads when I'm stand when I'm sitting down and then I'm just up like that as well. Okay, great exercise, very functional, um, important for your quality of life. If you can't maintain a sit to stand, if you're unable to sit to stand, then your quality of life is certainly going to be impinged. Your independence is going to be impinged because you might not be able to be independent living anymore. And we think it'll never happen to us. We all know people it happens to. Do you know what I mean? So we have to really be like working towards this. You, there's no sense of entitlement here. You've got to earn that right to have that independence and that quality of life. Of course, you've got to make some money as well, you know, you've got to keep the wool from the door. So you have to have a balance of everything. But I do believe this is really important. Good. Last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some lighter weights this time, and we're gonna do our anterior raises. So elbows nice and straight, and then just up like that for a minute. Doing superb. Just checking my board behind the camera, making sure that we're on track. We're nearly 17 minutes into the class already. No stop. You guys are phenomenal. Let's keep it going now. Keep bringing them up. Again, this should be pain free. All the time. Slight bend on the knees. Tummy muscles nice and tight or lightly held. And then just bringing it up. I normally rest my weights on the front of the thigh. So. As one goes up, the other one rests just there like that. Okay, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, grab some weights that are suitable. We're gonna do bicep curls for a minute. Are we ready? And let's go. So just curling it in towards you, good. It's crazy how quick the time goes, because we're already 18 minutes into this class. And it's brilliant, really. Grabbing hold of strength, grabbing hold of mobility, grabbing stability by the neck, improving your fitness levels, and the accountability. Turning up here every Wednesday, every single Wednesday, knowing that it's gonna happen, and that we've gotta turn up even when you know, you're carrying a knock or an injury or you're not quite there and you're finding a way to get through it. You never regret it afterwards, but you never feel the same if you miss it. Now, obviously, you can catch up on YouTube as well, which is great. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're going to go to the floor, okay, and we're going to do some sit-ups this morning. Move my chair backwards. Okay, and we're gonna have chin to chest, okay, eyes to belly button, hands on thighs, and then we're going up and down like that, one minute of these. We've not done one minute of these before, so that's going to be very, very tough, okay? So try not to extend your neck, always try and keep your chin to your chest as close as you can. Keep your eyes looking down towards your belly button, so you're not looking up towards the sky. And then you're just rolling those hands up the thighs, so that you're getting this upper abdominal work done, okay? Good. You'll be happy to know there's over halfway gone. I can definitely feel the burn. You need to take a break, take a little bit of a break, okay? But then join back in with us as soon as you possibly can do. Good. Last 10 seconds. Good. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
what we get. Okay, so we're going to do banded pull aparts. If you've got a resistance band, great. If you don't got a resistance band, go back to bicep curls, do another exercise. Okay, and let's pull them apart just like that. Try and keep the elbow straight, and then you're trying to pull that just back like that. So we're getting working that posterior muscles. Your posterior muscles are the muscles that are at behind you. So all the muscles, uh, your back muscles, your glute muscles, your hamstrings, your calf muscles. But in particular, we're working the posterior shoulder muscles at the moment. Good. So you pull it apart and you're bringing the band to your chest. Trying to keep the elbow straight. And then really driving back like that. Good, excellent. After this, we're going back to the floor again. A lot of up and downs today, isn't there? Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. We've not done 60 seconds of bicycles before either. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Get one knee out of the way. So just a little bit of a rotation. We've got 60 seconds on this. Okay. You got this, guys. Keep it going. Again, I find this a great exercise. Hands on the side of the head, just trying to get the opposite elbow towards the opposite knee, getting a little bit of rotation in there, getting a little bit of work through the hip flexors as well. Good. Keep pushing it. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, good. Right, hope we get bent over, reverse flies. So grab yourself some weight. Okay, you're going to feel a stretch in your hamstring, slight knee bend, elbows, tiny bend on the elbows, looking down towards the ground, and then you're flying your arms back up in the air like that. Okay, let's go. Seven and a half minutes left in the class. It is flying today. Good. Gonna need your step after this exercise. We're gonna do some step downs. Haven't done those in a while. Good, keep driving up. Now a lot of people, they don't bend over enough. So we wanna be bent over as much as we can. Don't worry how far you're behind in the class, okay? Over time, you're going to get fitter, you're going to get stronger. It's going to happen for you. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're bringing our step back into play. A lot of people were saying, I didn't want to move out of the big room that I was in, and I didn't want to come back into here. But it just shows that you can do this anywhere, you know, so you can have a small space and do it. Right, let's go. So we're doing six of these. We're not holding for 10 on the way down or anything like that. So we're just going to do six dynamics. So we're going to manage the balance. Down we go. Nice and slowly. And up, okay? One done. You need to hold on to something, hold on to something. Two. Three. Four. Five, one more on this side. Six, and we're going to change sides. Doing brilliantly, guys. Stay with it now. Okay, six on this side. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, one more, six, outstanding. Okay, bring that to one side. Okay, we're gonna grab our weights again, and we're gonna go overhead press, right? Grab any weight you want, and we're gonna do two zero, 20 overhead press, okay? Up they go, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Brilliant. Okay. We're going to, you can grab your step if you want, okay, or you can do it on the floor. I'll grab my step because it's just kind of, for illustration purposes, it helps, okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do 10 calf raises on one side and then 10 calf raises on the other side, okay. So single leg heel raising, okay. Right, are we ready? Let's go. First one, up and slight hold. One, up, two. Up three, up four, up five, up six, up seven, up eight, up nine. One more on this side and ten. Then change the other side. Now I'm not sure if I'm able to do it on this side today. We'll give it a go. All right, ready? Let's go. Up one. Up two, up three, up four, up five, up six, up seven, up eight, up nine. Up, 10. Now I had to use a little bit of assistance from the other side to get up there today, but that's fine. Okay, so next one we're gonna do are open the curtains, close the curtains, okay? Right, I'm gonna do 10 of these, okay? So, wait in front of you like that, like they're, they're closed, turn them and open, and open. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. So we're going to the floor again, and we're going to do our back onto abs again. Okay. So we're going to go left heel over right knee. Okay, and then. Right hand to head, and then it's across for 25. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, Three, four, and five. And on that side, we'll do the other side. Guys, one minute 30 left. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, twenty-five more. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna go up. One minute left. Okay. Grab your chair, and if you can, we're gonna do some tricep dips. Okay. Let's get twenty of these done. Let's go. One, two. I'm just gonna move my chair like this so you can see me a bit more. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. We're gonna grab our weights. Small weight, Saturday night fevers, we're against the time. Let's go. One, ten of these, two, crossing up, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one on this side. Ten. Ten on the upside, and we're done. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Oh my god, outstanding. Can't believe how quick that 30 minutes went. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's class, really good class today. Uh, thank you for all those who've turned up today. You guys are absolutely wonderful. This is uh, Johnny Wilson, Nottingham Physio, signing out.